Welcome back for our weekly check-in for the Divine Masculine. Yes, we're live every Friday. And if you do want this content ahead of the crowd, you can get it via our YouTube membership. Now, without further ado, let's take a look at what is coming through for the Divine Masculine. And a very warm welcome to those of you who are cross-watching. Now, I do see this week to be pretty juicy. Um, I did pull a clarifier and it was a romance card and it does say, um, intimate union. So oh, they're really thinking about you quite a bit this week. And I do feel it's almost like to a degree, they're putting you up on a pedestal, um, but they're really thinking about you in a most um, a juicy manner. Um, I really feel in the past they were looking at life and they weren't really able to give you their all, but they also are really reflective of um, how much they're giving and how much they actually received. And I do feel they're kind of comparing you to a previous relationship that they had. And so they have been really confused as to why maybe you have been, um, how could I explain it? A little bit like you're seeing them in all their full glory, um, in all their full potential, but they couldn't quite understand why you had such um, I wouldn't say commitment, belief, belief in who they were um, and connection to them, both emotionally, physically and spiritually. There's a lot of hope there. Um, they're very grateful for that, but they do feel in the past, and I'm especially going to, you know, really zoom in. Relating to the past, you know, they didn't really receive that. So when they were seeing it, they're really making a statement here of, they misinterpreted it. Um, it was almost that notion of too good to be true. Um, in their heart, it is there is a lot to do with their self-belief that's coming up. Um, so it can be that they're a little bit more passive, a little bit more shy at this point in time, not wanting to presume. So they can be crosswise. Uh, so don't be surprised if, for those of you that are in communication, if this person directly is lacking in confidence, projecting, um, that would be at the lower octane if they're having difficulties. Um, but definitely they're questioning their heart and they're also, um, you know, really asking themselves, do you have the courage to be loved? Do you have the courage to go after what you want? The card that is crowning for this week says intimate union. Honor the place in one another where you are one in the, as an ethereal soul. So it's almost like they're having a revelation that, that you're twins that, you know, and it's this big question mark over it. It's almost like, okay, what is this connection? Why do I feel so um, directly connected to my divine counterpart? Um, there is all, there could be a circumstance surrounding family at this point in time, courage directly linking to the sun, linking to tribe and home. Um, it could be their conditioning, especially if they had a poor relationship to their father, um, and that doesn't have to say that they were bad people. It was a different relationship maybe than what they um, expected, or it could be on the opposite side of the scale. It could be the mother energy. But there's something to do with their beliefs and their roles um, that they have a bit of a question mark moving forward. Some of them are just unsure after all the BS that maybe you aren't still as open as you used to be, and then therefore would it be safe to move towards you? Let's pull some clarifiers before we move further. Yeah, it's almost regret of not um, valuing you, you know, too good to be true. Um, I feel they're actually making a reference to the fact that it wasn't something that um, they were doing on purpose. It was something to do with themselves and their belief systems um, that they didn't feel worthy. So they weren't necessarily looking at it as no, you know, good for me, uh, you know, almost the polar opposite. You're too good for me. This is too good to be true. Now they're really thinking about union. We have the union card that's popped up again. This is the second time. I do really believe certain zodiac signs are going to be moving into this in the next three months. Um, feel free to book a personal reading um, if you need me to look at your energy um, coming through. But I, I, we get the union card coming up here and where it is like belief, they're almost having this revelation that at any time you've kind of split apart, you've come back again. And so, again, there's that big question mark. It's like, okay, you know, this is my person. Um, what is this? Why do we keep coming back together? Um, I think they're fre fearful that because they didn't appreciate you in the past that, that this too good to be true kind of notion can mean that maybe it can't be fixed, maybe it can't be transformed. But I definitely see with the devil card in reverse here, it's like they're turning over a new leaf and it's like they're, they're 
they're kind of not listening to that little birdie in the head. They're moving beyond it and they're challenging the devil in the detail. So how could this play out? This could play out in a sense of fears and addictions. Um, they're trying to tame the beast. They're wanting to come through with you very traditional. They also do feel that you have been very patient, but now it's kind of swapped. It's almost like they're embodying a little bit of what you went through. And now they're the ones that are feeling impatient. They want this brand new beginning with you. Some of you, I do feel, especially in a cross-watcher sense, I can feel as though, um, you know, some of you might have pulled back in your communication. Some of you have lost your cool and you're like, you know, you're not putting up with crap. Um, but they're really making a reference to this isn't something that they're doing on purpose. This is something that is happening to them. Um, and it is part of their awakening, so to speak. But they're having revelations at this point and they do want to um, really change their attitudes towards you because they know that this method that they've been taking is not going to win the race. They do wish, like you, um, at times, I'm sure you do, that um, you could turn time back. But again, they still feel that, uh, they still feel the same way in their heart, even though they can't turn time back. If they could, they would, especially if they could go back to the heydays and youth and um, show you the appreciation. But they do want to prove to you that they're able to have a new beginning. They do want to show you that they can actually go to that next level. I'm going to come back around again in a minute because I'm getting a second story coming through. Let's have a look at the bottom row and the foundation of this before I go into that because it feels like a separate storyline. What have I done? Hmm. Okay, I pulled some clarifiers. We do have, at a foundation level, it doesn't appear today that I've got them on the screen. So we're just going to proceed. We're not going to ruin the video. Okay, at a foundation level, it feels as though in the past there was always a consequence for an action, and they do know that um, point blank zero in the past, there was consequences for the choices they made. Um, some, which is a separate storyline that I'm going to backtrack and go back over, we'll go to the top view and you can see the cards. So there is this clover, there is this wish that they wanted in the past, but, you know, they weren't able to achieve it back then. And as I mentioned, they do wish they could turn time back. I feel that they're getting over the dramas, but also when it does come to karmic relationships, I especially see a secondary story in here. And again, they're really making comparisons. Um, if somebody is kind of jamming them into a corner, I feel they're in well awareness of this and they've still got their eye on the goal. They still have you in mind as a connection, but this is definitely aiding them in seeing the dark and the light. And I feel they're kind of loosening that darkness, that control factor that this individual potentially had on them is no longer there. And it does feel as though that's not their wish anymore. That's not their direction. Um, yes, they do feel they will adhere to, they will adhere to their social responsibilities, but they also feel they're not going to quit their life just because one storyline in their life didn't come to, um, full circle, just, you know, it's almost like an IOU notion, not staying in a connection because you owe somebody, but rather, is this able to be transformed? Am I staying due to nostalgia? I really feel this person's over it. Yeah, they simply feel that they can't just rest on luck. They do need to make their own. They're really realistic in life. They're very 3D. But they're really tapping into the 5D at this point. And they're like, okay, if I want this to move, I need to have a rebirth. And I do feel this is in relation to Divine Feminine. Um, I feel especially for those that are no longer in communication with the karmic that they're still reaching comparison here. They're still tuning into the direct comparison.
Yeah, and they're realising everything wasn't a bit of roses here. Everything wasn't glorious. I do feel some, it's almost like they've blocked the communication coming through with this individual or they're not answering calls, but this person's still persisting. But um, Divine Masculine's really moving forward in their life. I'm hearing the term what doesn't kill you makes you stronger and I feel it's their notion in life. I do feel if they've gone through a testing time, it's actually made their um, will to want a happy, healthy, um, conducive connection more so. But they definitely feel if they've been giving too much, especially to a karmic path, it's almost like the big question marks over it, but it's not a question mark any longer. It's a, it feels like an apostrophe. It feels like a revelation. This revelation um, is the amount they can give to people versus what they believe they had to. So there has been a 180 here inside of this group of divine masculines this week. I do feel there's conflict. For those that are dealing with closing a karmic cycle, I do feel there's conflict, but they're putting their foot down. I also feel their guides are coming in and saying, um, it's almost like if they had been re relating to you in a different way. And for those of you who are in communication at this point, if you're noticing their behavior is different, it's almost like the guides are working through them and they're asking them to address this differently. It's a little bit like Groundhog Day, except on this occasion, their intuition is telling them they must tackle it differently. So it's almost a forced situation that has been pushed upon them so that they can pass a karmic test. Some of them are having dreams about you. <clears throat> Super funny. They're missing the way they used to be when they were younger. They're missing their friendship groups. But it's funny because the, the thing that is most dominant on their mind is the endings and saying goodbye to those energies and actually being open to new connections. Some of them are thinking that at a um, karmic level, you know, some of these people that came into their life were quite karmic and these can be friendship groups. I do, and that's not all of their friends, but there is a large group, especially those that were in more codependent, unhealthy friendship groups. It's almost like they're physically saying that, A, they, it was a social crowd based on um, where they were at a point in their life, not necessarily one of those relationships, friendships that goes the distance through the ages. I also feel work colleagues, there's a change happening there too. They're being very cautious with these people. They're seeing things differently. They're seeing, they're seeing their career differently. They're seeing their love life. They're seeing their health as well very, very differently. Self-esteem also I do feel is coming up due to that. I feel divine masculine this week is still feeling pretty tight. I do feel the recovery factor um, this month definitely is going to be there for them. Come through and join us uh, for the joint connection because no doubt as the month proceeds, we will see a shifting within their energy. I really feel this person is very keen. I feel this person has had an absolute light bulb moment. Regardless of where they are on the path, I feel all of them are very much tuning into divine feminine, but they're also tuning into what they need to address inside their life. And this is a very brief kind of um, overview they're doing, but it's more there's some key point things they want to address inside themselves. So I do feel this, these individuals are super aware of their own personal beliefs towards themselves and they're working on that at a subconscious level but they feel it is very much in their heads they they're very grateful that they've had this revelation they really do appreciate you and I feel they're trying to move towards you at this point but they definitely feel there is a need to cycle that situation out so that they can give you the best but they've definitely made their mind up I will check in with you next week if you want to come through 
and see our updates. We are live every Friday. Come through and join us. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next one.